week 30 without a gaming computer. I finally have stuff to do. Uh, since there is Christmas and everything, uh, our family still gets presents for each other during Christmas times, no matter our age. Uh, so, I ended up getting, for my younger brother, some little RC helicopter. Some little cheap thing. Kind of a pain to use. I uh, started getting used to it, though. It's kind of neat. It's something I was going to originally get after I finished my computer, but now I don't have to do that. It's only like some $20 helicopter. So if you break it by crashing it too much, even though I've crashed it a ton, it, it's pretty light and it's kind of made so you can bump into stuff. Uh, but if you somehow manage to break it, it's not a huge loss since it's only around 20 bucks. So it's something that's uh, actually kind of worth getting instead of spending hundreds or something on an actual RC helicopter. And would you quit, dog? Rock? Damn. You have to start up at that weird time, huh? Uh, so the other thing I have to do, uh, like to keep myself busy and not be super bored, is I now have the Super Nintendo out here. Let me turn this stuff around here real quick to show you. So right next to this little pig, piggy bank thing here, is the Super Nintendo. Mystic Quest is in it right now. Everyone hates this game. Uh, some people like it even though it, it is kind of bad. I do like it. It's a really bad game. Uh, but I still like it. But yeah, got the Super Nintendo out here. Uh, the screens are off right now because I got uh, stuff paused on my Blu-ray player since I'm watching stuff on Netflix right now. And I got that turned on, but I got the monitor. It's hooked up to turned off. Uh, that is right now using the regular composite AV cable uh, cables that come with the thing. It's not using a coax. Uh, but eventually I'm going to be getting a system to replace that, uh, which is actually a regular original Nintendo, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis all in one. I was going to get that next month, but I think I'm going to wait. Since I wouldn't be able to really buy any games for it or anything until after my computer's finished. So I think I'm going to wait before I get that. And just keep using the Super Nintendo. I want to get that thing so I can actually use S-Video, which should have a sharper picture. Because uh, I'm running it into this little thing that I got for Christmas as well. I got this from my mom and dad. And you can see I don't have the audio hooked up to it because... The audio of this thing is garbage. I don't know if this is just a faulty one or if they're all like that, but this one at least, it cuts out a lot. It's kind of weird. I don't know why. For uh, some reason, it'll be normal audio for a few seconds, but every few seconds, it'll sound like it's just no audio uh, for a, a fraction of a second. It's just enough to notice it. It's just extremely annoying, and I know it's not the super. Because it's super when it's hooked up to a TV or my stereo. It is actually hooked up to my stereo yeah, stereo here in the back instead of this thing. So I still have audio. Uh, when it is hooked up to stereo and everything, there's no audio problem. So it is that thing itself that's having the audio issue. Uh, but when I get the new system, it's going to be using uh, S-Video. And it's going to plug in right uh, there. Uh, the only thing that's bad about this is it gets really freaking hot, but so far it seems to work fine. I'm not sure how well the S-Video output will look. Uh, the regular AV input, uh, it, it kind of upscales it, so the image looks sort of dirty. Uh, it's kind of like looking at a low quality, uh, low quality JPG image, JPEG, whatever. JPEG, JPG, JPEG, whatever you want to call it. Uh, either that or uh, GIF. It's got like dirty sort of smudges around the edges and stuff, so it's not really all the high, uh, the highest quality. Uh, most of that is just because it's using the composite cable, though. So once I get the new thing and switch over to S Video, then I'm thinking that problem will be gone entirely. I already have an S Video cable. My dad apparently had. Uh, out in the shop, so that's just waiting to be used. Uh, I would get that other console next month uh, if I had the money to afford it, 
and get a game, but it costs a hundred bucks because uh, it is the retro bit, uh, retro trio. So, yeah, I kind of want to get that, but I also want to get games uh, for the system. So, the reason I'd be able to get that and not have a uh, delay on my new computer is because I'm finally supposed to be getting a check from YouTube, so that should be awesome. <laughs> uh, but, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably just get a Game Genie or something for Super Nintendo, because uh, that probably only like 15 bucks if I get one used, and I can easily look up the codes, and that'll drastically extend how long I can play the games, because there are a ton of codes for Game Genie games, or for games that have codes hidden and stuff that can be unlocked by Game Genie, I mean. So, I might be doing that. I did get uh, 41 bucks for Christmas. Uh, it's a weird number. It was 35 but this pig there... Uh, it was for some little gift exchange white elephant thing that our family also does. And there was money hidden inside of it, so that brought me up from 35 to uh, $41. Plus, I already had a dollar or so in my vest just sitting there unused. So, I just got to get that deposited, and I'll have a, a, a quite a good amount of money to actually spend on stuff, but I'm gonna uh, hold on to it, not really spend anything other than I, I gotta get the replacement fish filter, or fish tank filter, whatever, uh, to change out, remove that, because I didn't get that for Christmas, uh, some filters and carbon for it as well, uh, sponges, I mean, on carbon, and, uh, what, oh, Game Genie, duh. So, looking at spending, I don't know, there are probably 40 bucks for the filter and the filter stuff, the sponges and carbon, then another 15 or so, maybe 20 depending on shipping, uh, for the Game Genie. So, yeah, only about $60 I'm going to be spending, and everything else uh, I should be able to finish getting computer stuff built on schedule uninterrupted by doing all that uh, it should be kinda neat I might look and see if I can find another game but I'm gonna just look around online and see what game codes there are to see because I know uh, we do have uh, Super Mario All-Stars here I've got, or we got games here a bunch of Super Nintendo games I can't see the screen of the camera right now but I've got Super Metroid and everything, uh, Tetris Attack, just a bunch of games. So I got a lot of stuff to do now that I got out here, so I don't have to be in the house and be bothered by people or freezing because they don't really turn the heater on in the house a whole lot. Uh, but with well, the Game Genie, I'm sure at least half of those gotta have some kind of codes for, uh, on the Game Genie. So if I get that. That's going to be awesome because I've beaten pretty much the good games. Good isn't like the awesome. There's a bunch of good games there, but the awesome ones I've beaten. Super Metroid, uh, Super Mario World, I've beaten those. So it'll be nice to run around with some cheats or something like God Mode or Super Jump on uh, Mario games. Uh, it'd be kind of neat. I'm just messing around. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. <sighs> I guess I did kind of show... No, I guess I didn't. Um, I guess... Yeah, you can see there's only one fake plant in the fish tank right now. Again. Because the string I tied the other fake plant to a rock with... It didn't last anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to. I knew it was eventually going to fall apart. But I thought it was going to take about a year or something before it actually fell apart and stopped holding. And it only took a couple weeks or so. So there's only one fake plant in there again. Because it's being held with a rubber band. And that'll take a lot longer to fall apart than the string. I don't really have anything else safe that I can hold it together with and put in the fish tank. So anyways. 
that is, what the hell, I zoomed in? Oh, apparently I accidentally zoomed in. Uh, yeah, that is the end of this part, or not this part, then. That the end of this video. Oh, and I also slept wrong, so there's a muscle on my back that hurts like hell. Then, the last day it was hurting, uh, that I just needed to let it relax. Happened to be Christmas Day, and I was playing a game in the house. <laughs> At least I think it was Christmas. It was either Christmas or Christmas Eve. It might have been Christmas Eve, actually. But I was playing, yeah, because my brother was here. So I was playing a game in the house. Uh, finishing some stuff up again uh, a bit. One of the kids tripped on the controller cord and I moved forward quickly so it didn't uh, drag the Super Nintendo down and destroy it or something. So instead of the Super going down, I let the controller go down. And <laughs> by moving that fast, trying to react because she was drag or sliding her feet on the ground, just dragging them, not lifting up. That's how she tripped on the cord. She wasn't paying enough attention. She was doing stuff. She got way like, hyper, whatever. Kids get hyper too easily. Part of the reason why I don't like being in the house. Uh, but because uh, I moved that fast, it screwed up the muscle on my back again from part of my neck. One of the muscles right next to your spine that go up to your neck to turn and stuff. It gets screwed up. And pillows every once in a while. But so that one still hurt. It's got to heal more because I moved a little too quickly before I was completely healed. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's really nothing else. I got stuff to do though, so that's neat. So I'll see you guys either next week or in some other video. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.